Hello, welcome back to H Robotic. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about um, the Landroid 500, how to put it, uh, how to install the cable or how to lay the cable, and how to how to get your L500 moving and cutting the grass. It's only going to be a few minutes. So, first off, when, when, when you get your L500 or your, uh, your S500, sorry, when you get your, your S500 Landroid um, robotic lawnmower, um, in the box you're going to be getting a, a perimeter cable. And with this perimeter cable, that is to be laid exactly what it says on, on, the, on the box is to be laid around the edge of the garden so within the box you're going to be getting a measuring device like this you'll get two of these in your box what you want to ensure is on this measuring device you have 5 10 15 20 25 30 centimeters centimeters for the top inches on the bottom when you're installing your perimeter cable this green cable here when you're installing the perimeter cable ensure that when you have the edge okay up at me ensure that when you have the edge of the garden you're gonna install the cable at 25 centimeters away from the edge um, the reason for this is because the robot actually drives on the cable and it picks up the sensor and the robot will follow the cable around the garden and it will with its software it will develop um, and it will show the robot where the edge of the garden is once the robot has discovered where the edge of the garden is by using your perimeter cable and the perimeter cable is set because you're going to be protecting all of your flower beds you're going to be protecting you want to be protecting things like this um, robots without a perimeter cable can often be that the robot actually drives over this edge and upsets your wife's garden so with this robot you have a perimeter cable remember what i said you're going to get something like this a measuring device place the measuring device up against the edge of the garden the wall we have here 25 centimeters the cable is laid 25 centimeters on this cable you see you have some little black things here and that is pegs so you should get things that look like this in your box as well if you do not get this you're going to have to purchase one of these so by taking these you're going to place these approximately every 40 50 60 centimeters totally up to you if you get 200 meters of a cable and you get 300 pegs and then you're going to have to calculate it yourself if you're going to use all 200 meters of your perimeter cable then make sure you place the 300 pegs correctly so you don't run out but if you do run out you can order even more for our website so i'll quickly show you how to do this the peg here literally place it on the ground voila so simple so fast so the robot here we're going back to the l um the, the s the landroid s 500 we've already made a video about the, the landroid 1000 with all the contents the contents are pretty much the same but we're going to make another video for the 500 about unboxing showing you all the contents that are in the box right so we have our cable here the green cable one side is open here it runs around and goes in this direction it will then go around the perimeter of your garden all the way around okay keep up cameraman okay it goes all the way around back into this groove on your loading station and up into the right side and can I take this off okay now you can see how it's fitted you have a red and a black make sure one end of the cable is in the black one end of the cable is in the red and this will create your circuit so now we have circuit on the back of the loading station you have a power cable and a power cable obviously you connect it to power it's as simple as that a power cable on the back to connect to power create your cable around the garden your perimeter creating the circuit now we have power to the charging station and we can tell the robot to start finding the perimeter okay simple this is you want to place the robot slightly offset facing well how we're going to do it is facing a little bit towards the robot so place it in this position this button here okay so this button here um, this button is to tell the robot that 
the function that we're going to be doing now is to go around and check the perimeter and it will check that the perimeter is correctly installed remember this only has like a five phase installation so this will be the last phase of the installation you can find out the installation phases on the unboxing video so make sure you check out the unboxing video and we'll explain the installation phases for you you want to press the perimeter button followed by OK you will then hear the bleeps it will move up to the cable so it's now trying to find the cable it's now located the cable it's going to pass around the edge of the garden now following the cable so you can now see why we've said that you need a roughly 25, uh, 25 centimeter uh, measurement between the edge here and the cable because you'll see how close it will start to cut to the edge you can always change how much distance you want so on this we, we've seen that we could maybe go another two centimeters closer that's it if you see this distance here you see that we could go maybe yeah maybe another five centimeters closer so all we have to do is pick up this cable and move it five centimeters closer but it's personal choice right so now you've just seen that the robot has passed around the edge of the perimeter around the garden the, the robot has now discovered where the edge is you've also seen how the robot then comes on and docks again and ready to start charging the next phase would be that the robot will come out and it will start to design a systematic uh, cutting process and it will now start to to mow and cut all of the grass inside the perimeter right and now we're going to do a small comparison to the traditional old style dirty brown suit 1970s now we're going to go to the modern man the clean man the beard fresh shaven looking nice in the suit going out having a glass of wine okay what <laughs> see that's the danger of having a cable it doesn't matter if it's a robot or if it's this one here but remember how quiet this is and now we're going to give this one a test oh turn the thing off <laughs> so as you can see the neighbors are not really enjoying this one they don't like this one so i would highly recommend that one for the cool modern guy or lady